this is something that people don't like to talk about today. People like to talk about the suffering. They like to talk about the cross, and we should talk about the cross, but we need to talk about the death too. Okay, the gospel is the death, burial, and the resurrection. Jesus died and tasted of death for us, meaning we will never taste of death. Okay, what is that? But that's not just talking about a physical death. Jesus Christ, when he died, he went to hell. Okay, they're, they're, the, the Bible is very clear on that. It says in Acts 2.27, Behold, thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known unto me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David. He's both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to his flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He, saying this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses, therefore being by the right hand of God, exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost that he shed forth uh, this which ye now see and hear. So we see that Jesus Christ, he, he went there and his soul was not left in hell. He, G, God loosed the pains of death. So not only did Jesus die, but he was dead. He said in Revelation, behold, I am he that was dead and I am alive forevermore. He was not dead like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who God said, he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. God called Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who were dead physically. God called them living. Hey, where do they learn that from? Jesus. He's the one that taught that doctrine right there. And Jesus is he that was dead. He was dead for three days, but he rose again. And folks, we can't leave that part out of the gospel. You don't get to leave the death. We don't just get to talk about the suffering and not talk about the death. The Bible talks a lot about the death of Jesus Christ, the death burial. Why does it mention burial in there too? Because it shows that he was actually dead. It was a fulfillment of prophecy that his soul wouldn't be left in hell, but his holy one, his flesh would not see corruption. He wouldn't be dead long enough for his body to rot away and deteriorate. He was going to rise again from the dead. And that's exactly what he did. And so we're going to, we talk, we're going to talk about all of it. People get so triggered when you talk about the death of Jesus Christ, but I don't know how you get around talking about the death of Christ when the Bible says it's the death, burial, and resurrection that Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures. He was buried, then he rose again. That Jesus said, behold, I am he that was dead and am alive forevermore. And so, I mean, good night. We ought to talk about the cross. We ought to sing about the cross. We ought to glory in the cross because that was Jesus Christ physically doing everything in the flesh that you and I could never do. Jesus Christ is taking that physical punishment. Jesus Christ lived a perfect and a righteous life and a holy life, never committed one sin in the flesh. But folks, our punishment for sin, it was not just a physical death. It was a spiritual death in hell. And Jesus did both of those. He died a physical death that took him to the same place where we belong, where he said, we're never going to have to taste of it. He tasted it for us. He tasted that for every man, and we can't leave that out of the gospel. You don't leave the death out of the gospel, but yet people today get really offended when you talk about the death. You know, they want to they make it easier. You know, it's like they've got to make Christ's sacrifice easier because, you know, hell, people don't like talking about hell today, do they? Think about more and more religions are deciding that hell is not real. You know why? Because it's not a pleasant thought. It's not, it's not a pleasant place. It's a horrible place, but that's because sin is a horrible thing. And there's a severe punishment and it's an eternal, it's an eternal punishment that is on the soul of man for the sins that they have done. And Jesus Christ, he experienced that force. He tasted it, but thankfully that death could not hold him like it would be able to hold us because of the fact that he had no sins of his own 
And so God raised him up from the dead, and now we have hope. Now we can actually have eternal life 